The Upper Town. In this historical setting, there's a rich choice of museums and galleries. One of the most beautiful is the Klovich Gallery. The gallery is named after the famous Croatian Renaissance miniaturist, Julie Klovic. It's located in a former Jesuit monastery from the 17th century. Currently, the gallery is presenting the exhibition called Dalmatian Zagora, an unknown country. Dalmatian Zagora is the large and elongated mountainous area behind the Croatian coast, between the rivers of Krka and Neretva. Poets sang about it, travelers described it, and some of the best Croatian films were made in it. Its position always made Zagora a strategically crucial area. That's why it was often a battlefield. It's described by Petra Senjanovic, the museum expert. Through the history, Dalmatian Zagora was the crossroads of three cultures and religions, Catholicism, Orthodox Christianity, and Islam. In fact, it was the border region between three empires, Venice, Austria, and the Ottoman Empire. But no historical power or empire managed to definitely impose itself. Numerous invasions and conquests created strong cuts between different periods. Since the earliest times, civilization left its traces in this lively area. It starts in the Stone Age. There are many remains from the dawn of civilization. Including this strange receptacle which was used for ancient cults. In the times of ancient Greece, the Croatian coast was part of the Amber Road, where amber was transported from the faraway Baltic. The coast was the home of the Illyrians. Then the Romans came, saw, and conquered. This gorgeous head of Hercules, Diana the Lucifer, and other Roman sculptures and reliefs are genuine masterpieces. The Croats came in the Middle Ages. Zagora was the seat of the first Croatian dukes and kings. They used such Carolingian swords. They also built early Romanesque churches with impressive stones. Zagora is one of the greatest sources of medieval jewelry in Europe, especially earrings. These are children's stirrups and buttons from the 9th century. During and after the Turkish wars, the Franciscan monks and missionaries kept the Christian faith in the area. There is a widespread adoration of the Virgin and Saint Anthony. 
The people loved multicolored folk style paintings and sculptures, which is reflected in the church art in the area. Its inaccessibility made it remote, mystical, and mysterious for much of its history. It's still generally perceived as a Croatian twilight zone. But this exhibition reveals all its splendor.